Hi, Rob Kelly here, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about why some sufferers of emetophobia find it so difficult to believe there might actually be some genuine help out there for them. I want to say first off, I absolutely understand this. I absolutely get it. I've been working with emetophobes for nearly 30 years now. I was seeing five or six a week, even 25 years ago, and I've worked with a lot of them. And I know that you come from a place where you feel incredibly powerless. Uh, many of you have tried lots of other different interventions and treatments before and have been promised the earth and have been told this will help and that will help. And as you know, every time you try something that doesn't help, you feel more powerless, you feel more dejected, your hope becomes less and less, to the point where with many emetophobes, they feel so powerless, they don't believe there's a cure. They're suffering so much, their life is so badly affected by it that they don't, they can't even imagine what their life would be like if they weren't emetophobes. Now this gets so bad that some of the uh, ex-emetophobes that have cured themselves with the Thrive Programme, with my book, Cure Your Emetophobia and Thrive, actually almost get stalked on the internet by uh, current sufferers saying, I don't believe you, uh, you can't really be cured, I think it's a con, I think you know all these 160 testimonial videos are done by actors and there hasn't really been a research survey and this programme can't really work, it's all a con, it's a trick. And though a little annoying, because it makes, us, makes it more difficult for us to get help to you, I do utterly understand where you come from. I get that one can feel so powerless and so down and so traumatised. You know, some of you, like Mary, I'm sure you've seen Mary's video, if not, look it up, had suffered terribly for 75 years. That's a long, long, long time. So let me try and help you with a couple of things. First of all, it's completely understandable that you feel so powerless and you find it hard to believe not only that there's any help for emetophobia, but actually that you can be cured of it. I know most of the psychologists that have written on the subject and psychiatrists that work with emetophobes actually themselves don't believe there's a cure. So I understand why you would think that way. Even the chief psychologist in the UK that works with emetophobia tells his patients that you know you cannot cure yourself uh, you can only learn to live with it better. Now that's utter, utter nonsense. Absolute nonsense. You know, As I say, I've been treating emetophobia for nearly 30 years. We've taken thousands of people now uh, through the Thrive Programme for Emetophobia. We've had feedback from, and I've just checked, 1,620. Okay, So you could argue, all right, Rob, you may have sold twelve or 13,000 emetophobia books, right? but how do you know all those people have got better. Well, clearly we don't know. We don't get feedback from every single one of those people. We do ask for feedback from everyone. We don't get feedback. What I can guarantee you is 1,620 people have so far replied saying that either they're completely cured or they're cured enough that their life is just so much better. That's 1,620. That's about 1,618 more than any other treatment programme uh, can possibly boast. Secondly, we've now had 162 people send in replies specifically to our online research survey. Now, as you're probably aware, when we had, I think, 55 people a couple of years ago that had been through that survey, that was still by far the biggest survey of, of its kind anywhere in the world. Well, we've now had 162 people through that survey, all of them stating that they're either completely cured or... 90% over it, enough that they're getting on with their life and that emetophobia doesn't bother them anymore. So how is this possible? First of all, the Thrive Programme is not like any other form of therapy, any other form of treatment, any other type of intervention. It comes from my own experiences working with emetophobes and, and I just got back from Copenhagen where I was asked to do a presentation there to a group of psychologists in Copenhagen and without being rude, they didn't have the first idea about how to treat emetophobia. And I think primarily that's because they haven't worked with many. 
I've worked with thousands. Directly and indirectly, I have either worked with or supervised the work with thousands of emetophobes. I understand emetophobia. Not only do I understand emetophobia, but my team and I have read every single research paper around the world to do with emetophobia and understand it also from a... Um, from a study viewpoint, from a, from a research viewpoint. In the research, for example, uh, most treatments, most CBT-based treatments, have a high dropout rate. Well, why would they have a high dropout rate if people wanted to be cured? It's because they don't believe it's going to work. They're so entrenched, you are so entrenched in your beliefs, understandably, I might add, that it's very, very difficult to believe that something's going to help. It's very, very difficult to believe something's going to help. Also... It's a little, I imagine, a little insulting for you to hear from people that have been cured that they found it really quite easy or it was quite simple or, or something. That, I'm sure, can come across as insensitive and insulting to you if you've got emetophobia and you've suffered for years from it. I'm sure they don't mean to come across that way, Um but having worked with lots of smokers over the years, I know that the worst smoker is an ex-smoker because they go around telling everyone how easy it was to quit, blah, blah, blah. And I will say this categorically, categorically to you now. It's never easy. It's never easy to overcome emetophobia. I don't think I've ever said that, um, that it's easy. It is simple. It's a simple program to follow, but it's not easy. You are going to have to put in significant work every day for probably six to eight weeks. There are lots of videos around, lots of video testimonials around from people that have been through the Thrive Programme and found it hard and they've failed at it on a number of occasions but they always come back to it, they always accept that the reason they failed at it is because they didn't stick to the programme solidly for six to eight weeks. I would say it's pretty impossible not to overcome your emetophobia if you stick rigidly to a programme. I don't think I've met anyone yet who has rigidly stuck to the programme and not got over it. Um, in terms of, I don't believe it's impossible, it, uh, uh, it can't possibly work, it, you know, you, you, you're, you're conning us. Um, I understand why and how you can feel that way, but I, I, let me say this. You don't have to do very much to try it. The book is only £25. The programme is only £25. Okay. Yes, it's £800 if you go through a consultant. Okay. But actually, the book itself is only £25. Okay. So it's not a huge outlay to try it out. Secondly, there is a money-back offer on the book. There always has been, there always will be a money-back offer. So actually, and that's not... A, if you're not cured money back, that's if you just don't like the book. If you don't like the book, if you don't like the way it's written, if you bought it and you meant it for something else, or you just changed your mind, doesn't matter. Okay, If you buy the book on Amazon or anywhere else and you don't like it, you don't get on with it, you don't like the program, it doesn't work for you, let us know that you want a refund. You don't even need to give us a reason and we'll give you an immediate refund. So actually, you've got absolutely nothing to lose. You don't need to... Ask a million questions. You don't need to believe in the programme before you do it. You just need to do it. It's as simple as that. You pay your £25, you buy a book. If you don't like it and you don't get on, give us a ring, send us an email. We'll give you a refund the same day. You've lost absolutely nothing. So, you then have to ask yourself, if you're not prepared to do that, what you're potentially gaining by not doing that. It's so easy, go online, buy a book. If you don't like it, we'll give you a refund. This book has been specifically created to help you overcome your emetophobia and learn to thrive. And anybody can do that. We've had seven-year-old children doing it and 82-year-old OAPs doing it. Okay, we had boys doing it, girls doing it, upper class people, poor people, uh, people from all over the world doing it, all over the world. Okay, you can do it too. Put down your prejudices and your beliefs about 
how difficult it would be, how impossible it would be. Instead of trying to prove it's impossible to overcome, which would just confirm your belief system that it's impossible, if you want to stay with the metaphobia for the rest of your life, absolutely fine, you know, absolutely you're right. But the book, the programme, will cost you a maximum of £25 if you do it by yourself at home with a book. That's really not a lot. If you work hard at it, there are lots of support videos online, okay? I promise you, you can overcome your emetophobia in six to eight weeks following this program. There's lots of support out there. There's lots of video support out there. There's some online support. And of course, you can go the whole hog and go and be taken through the course with one of our trained consultants. Okay, you've got absolutely nothing to lose and a whole life of being a metaphobia free to gain. So get in touch. If you've got any questions, you can ask them via the website. That's emetophobia.co.uk. You can find us on Facebook. It's forward slash emetophobia cure and also on YouTube forward slash emetophobia cure. My name's Rob Kelly. Thanks very much for watching this video.